So guys, this is Chef Mayhem again. Today we're going to be going over how to make napalm. Now, uh, we're going to be going over how to make napalm specifically using household items, so that'll be easy. Now, uh, napalm, let's go over what napalm is. To begin. Napalm is a generic name for uh, a mixture of flammable petroleum substance, typically diesel or gasoline with thickening and gelling agent to give the fury substance sticky properties. So it's basically sticky fire. Napalm-like fury substances have been used since early, early Greek times to, for war purposes. They called it sticky, sticky fire, but we called it Greek fire. Napalm is, you know, it was developed at a secret Harvard University laboratory in 1942 and was intended to be used as an incendiary device for buildings and structures. However, more recently, napalm was used as an incendiary substance that seeks to readily to victims for prolonged prolonging burning and damage to the victim and proved especially effective against dug in enemy percent dug in enemy personnel that uses napalm is forbidden by modern day rules of war uh part two for more peaceful purposes napalm can be used in animal traps and to focus a burn on a given area for a prolonged period of time it can even be used as a cutting device in survival in a survival situation. Now you might be wondering how how do how why would you use that in an animal trap? Um, obviously that would be to burn your um you know the animal you catch alive. I, I had a lot of comments on that. You know, it was wasn't um people didn't like that, but you know I guess it's what it's, it's what it's used for. You know, so you just have to. Hold up a second. All right, getting back to napalm. Um, you know, people don't like that, but you know, that's what it's used for. You know, burning animals alive. People actually didn't know that 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 actually was like a thing, but you know, it, it used to be. Um, before you know, like animal cruelty and stuff like that. I personally wouldn't do that. I just heard that that was done at one point in time. I'm just saying what I heard. I'm not, I don't believe in that. So don't like go ahead and put in like napalm and animal traps because you know, it's not, it's not nice. There are several different types of modern day napalm mixtures, including napalm B, the more, the more modern version of napalm. Commercial ver versions are Typically formulated from a hard to find agent such as naphthenic, naphthenic acid and palmit, palmitic acid, hence the name nap and palm, napalm. Naphthenic plus palmitic is napalm. But homemade versions of napalm are fairly easy to mix. Make, I mean, homemade napalm can be made as follows. Step one. Oh shit, I always do that. So the uh, ingredients are um, gasoline. Try using kerosene or diesel as well. Experiment, you know. Do what you want, but be safe. You know, you you don't want to make you want to make napalm as powerful as possible to your um desires, but you know, do it safely. You know, wear gloves and um, mask and goggles and stuff like that. Then, uh, besides the gasoline, you need loads of styrofoam. You might have to get different types of styrofoam and test how much. Styrofoam works best. I find that styrofoam cups work best, but you know, it's just my own, my own. I want to say discovery because I didn't discover this, but my own preference, predilection. Materials you're gonna need are some old, an old bowl or some type of container, and you're gonna need like a, a twig, or if you're feeling really scientific, you can get one of those glass stirring rods so you feel cool. Step one is you're gonna you're gonna want to pour some gas into an old bowl or some type or some kind of container. Get some styrofoam. Step two is just get some styrofoam and put in the gas until the gas won't eat anymore. You should have a sticky syrup as a product. Put it on the end. Of some, you will, yep. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to mix it. You know with the with the stick a twig. You know what I'm saying. Uh, you want to put it on the end of something like a like a piece of steak or something. You get like a torch. Um, 
don't touch it because it's um it sticks to your skin and if you like if you um it's very it's not very nice to have a burn on your skin so don't touch it uh, the unused stuff lasts a long time so don't worry about it uh, i'm pretty sure it's half-life it's like nine years or something like that let me just look it up real quick actually because i forgot i looked it up earlier but i forgot what it was Yeah, it's about nine years, nine to 12 years. Um, now safety, this project is just performed outdoors since gasoline vapors are volatile and toxic, meaning don't breathe them in, dipshit. You know, unless you want to die, if you have a death wish. <clears throat> Wear protective goggles and gloves to protect yourself from the splashing of liquid. Use, well, it's not really liquid, it's more like a jelly. But it depends on how much you put it. If you, I like to keep it as a liquid. Because it's still sticky as a liquid. Oh, and this um, gel is less maneuverable. So, you know, liquids are more malleable, not malleable, or more maneuverable. So, um, and use care when igniting the napalm. It's also advisable to have a high fire extinguisher hand, handy. This project is intended, for, is intended for mature chemistry students. Keep all materials away from children and pets. Uh, it's good to use fuses um, or just pour it on a stick uh, that's a long stick and then light it. Uh, but just use fuses so you don't like get too close to it, you know. Um, the heat from this napalm is so hot, if you burn it on the asphalt street, it will leave a hole in the street surface. This thing is like thermite, all right? You do not want to get this on your skin, all right? It will kill you in an instant. But um, the purpose of the napalm that we can use it is mainly for torches, uh, survival, survival reasons. You know, you get stuck outside. You get stuck outside. You need a fire. Just make. Um, you just happen to have uh, styrofoam because you know, and gasoline at the same time. Then you can make fire. Um, now if you want to play real life Minecraft, <laughs> you can use napalm to make a torch. Um, yeah, so this is it. Chef Ma'am is uh, signing out, guys. So if anybody has any questions, comment on this video and uh, and um, just or email me and uh, I'll answer it. So uh, yeah, Chef Man signing out.